Hey, welcome everyone back to the channel. I'm Carlos and in this video we're going to be working on page 30 of a 32 page kids book that I wrote with a very good friend of mine, Jack Kasperzak. Hi Jack. Um, so the reason why we're doing this is we wanted to create a creative project where we can bring you guys along with us. Um, from from absolute beginning to absolute end and so uh what we're doing if once you find this video what you what you'll where you found it hopefully is in a playlist on my channel by the name of the process projects and what you'll see there is we went from brainstorming a story idea to actually writing out the story to then doing the character design doing the storyboards now I'm actually illustrating those pages. I'm using the storyboards as a thumbnail. Excuse me. Uh, I'm using it as a thumbnail and then I'm drawing the pages. And then what you'll see is I'm not necessarily finalizing any of the artwork. And that's because uh, once I get done with this, uh, we're going to have a very good idea of what the page is going to look like, but then we're going to, we meaning Jack and I are going to go through and do all of the, um, the graphic design or the page layout. So we're going to put all the words in place and I didn't want to finalize anything until we knew exactly that everything was going to be working together. Um, and so, uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. And then once I'm done with this and we put the words in place, then we're going to finalize all the artwork. And then we're going to go into actually like talking to printers and stuff like that. And I work, uh, I help out at a print shop. And so I'm going to see if there's anything that I can do. I've already kind of started talking to them about, um, about printing this book and then uh, possibly letting me uh, show you guys some of the printing process of if you decide to make a book, you know, that's helpful information because there's a lot of things that happen. You have to set up your book the right way. You have to have crop marks. You have to have all kinds of stuff. We're going to be able to talk about, you know, uh, bleeding colors off the edge and stuff like that. So all of that stuff comes in handy when you're going to create your own book. And so uh, we thought that it would be very helpful for you guys and even for us too, but um, we have basically we have a roadmap of tutorials that's in this playlist, the process projects playlist, and you'll be able to learn everything that it takes to, to make a kid's book. So if that stuff interests you, if you're into uh, animation, filmmaking, illustration, uh, graphic design, all that stuff, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anyone else that's looking to get into that stuff, go ahead and send this video on over to them and tell them about the channel. Uh, and uh, I'm starting to see people starting to come into the chat. If you are watching live or if you want to watch live after you hit that subscribe button and you, uh, and you get that alert that I'm going live, well, uh, go ahead and jump in the chat room. And if you have anything uh, that you need help with or whatever, uh, I'll be more than happy to try to help you uh, with whatever it is that you're doing. Hopefully it's a Photoshop issue and not like, uh, you know, if you need help changing your muffler or something, I might not be your guy. But yeah, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so then we can interact and we can grow our little community here. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and find my mouse. There it is. Let's go to the Cintiq. Um, okay, so these are the two characters that we have a monster and a robot. And here are our storyboards. Um, and usually I'll go through and I'll do a very quick synopsis of, of everything, of the story and everything. But there are 28 or 29 other there's a lot there's a lot of videos where I talk about what's going on so go ahead and check those out uh, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video so for the playlist you can take a look at the playlist and watch it from top to bottom um, there's a lot of very helpful information in there 
So with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the music. And uh, there we go. Um, and this is the page that we're going to be working on. This is the one that we did just now, like literally just now. Um, it took me 10 minutes to finish this page. And here it is right here. Um, so that hopefully will be what it looks like <laughs> in the end. And this is the one that we're going to be working on now. So I'm going to grab the M. I'm going to tap the M key for marquee and I'm going to drag a box over that artwork. I'm going to copy that, switch over to our book. I'm going to close this folder, create a new layer, hide that folder and all of the artwork that's on those layers. I'm going to do a paste command. Uh, command or control T for transform and I'm going to hit the option key to size it up from that anchor point that you saw in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to drag the opacity slider down because we need that dark enough to see but light enough to not be in the way. I'm going to hit plus down here for a new layer. Uh, but before I do anything on that layer, I'm going to come back to our thumbnail layer and click this lock button so I don't accidentally put any artwork on that page. All right. So now this is where um, I always start with a little bit bigger brush only because um, I'm not completely sold on the layout of the thumbnail so what i'm going to do is just rough in everything that i want to see on this page and these here this is a jungle gym and so these little circles are the connecting points for all the bars and if you watch some of the previous videos, you'll see um, you'll see how we treat the front side of these bars and the back side of these bars. And if you see my eyes going down like this, I have I have football playing. Looks like New England won 17 to 14. Denver and Houston. Oh, so anyway, um, so yeah, these are all the little connecting points for the bars of this jungle gym uh, hit brush and then we can connect those like so and again um, we're gonna create a new layer on top of this one and really refine our um, our scene um, and you see that you'll see that um, that approach um, when uh, when animators are drawing, if you remember, um, back in the day, animators would draw on paper and they would have paper between their fingers and they're flipping back and forth. So the animators do kind of what I'm doing. It's like a rough pass. And then you have cleanup artists that'll come and actually uh, make the drawings, finalize the drawings just a little bit more. Um, and that's because, you know, it's, it, it actually saves a lot of time doing it that way because, um, cause I don't want to, I don't want to spend a ton of time, uh, working on details and stuff. If something is going to change, um, and I'm trying to figure out, I remember having a conversation about this one and I'm going to create a new layer because I think what we wanted to do is have this be silhouetted out. So I'm just going to drop this in here just to see. Sexy. Yeah, she bad. I wanna fuck 
I want to see um, I want to see if we really do want this to be silhouetted they're gonna be kind of small so trying to actually draw them all the way in might not make a lot of sense we might just be wasting wasting time trying to trying to add the, all the details and stuff um, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to give it a try but that's why that's this is the perfect example for why why I don't go in right away and start adding details and stuff because for the most part and you'll see a lot of times in this in this video series you'll see where I change my mind and I move things around and maybe there's a position that I just don't like or something is happening and I don't want to spend a ton of time on something that might possibly change okay so there's that I'm going to collapse those two just because it is what it is. Um, but what I want to do is I want to see if I bring this opacity down and hide that. I want to see if it's worth trying to figure out. I want to see if it's worth trying to add details. It just might not be... It might not be worth, you know, what the the saying, it might not, the, the juice might not be worth the squeeze. That's what we're trying to figure out right now. And it might actually be a little more dramatic if we leave it in a silhouette. Let's see. I'm going to slowly but surely fill all these things in. Yeah. So grown pajamas, the ties keep shifting away. Views from the balcony, we could sleep in for the day. Breakfast in bed, keep the ashes for the tray. Crashing in together, you get it. And actually, this is more like this. Yeah, we on the same. And again, I'm I'm not trying to be absolutely perfect right now. That would be for the next. That'll be for the next. Um, the next step. So let's see. Yeah, I'm not convinced either way. It might make sense to... Well, to tell you the truth, this is a really good exercise. Um, this is an approach that I've seen other people do where you can put down a silhouette of something and then you just go in and draw lines on top of it. It helps you figure out forms. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I know for a fact. And here's something else that we have to keep in mind, too, is um, it'd be really cool to have the jungle gym. You know, we can have this. We can have this meet meeting point here and this one here it'd be really cool to frame this and the last stream that we did no it's probably two streams ago um 
we were talking about framing both yeah. in film and animation and so, in a book. It's conscious. So we can totally come in here and do well, this. I just want to see if this is... And then if we hide this, hmm. I don't know. So what we're going to do is let's draw a little more. And always, always think of when you're doing, um, when you're doing this part of your your drawings and your sketching and stuff like that um, just chalk it up to learning uh, there we go. Um, you know even there's even even corporations out there have teams that do research and development and um, you know, the music industry has teams that go out and find artists and stuff like that. And then once they find them, they have other teams that help groom them. And, you know, it's not always um, 100% easy. But for example, like the, the video that we did previously for page, what did we, for page 29, like, that was just way too fast, way too easy. <laughs> and then this one, I knew that we were going to be spending some time trying to figure out how this is going to look. down real quick and then we'll take another quick look and try to make a decision if we stay with the silhouette that means that we have to spend some time on the sky because the sky um, will get the detail if the characters don't that's just how lighting works um, if you have a silhouette that means that the light is that the, the characters are backlit and that means that you're going to be able to see the background better than the better than the characters themselves. I always do that, and it's driving me crazy. Okay. There we go. One last, one last stroke. Jeepers, the, the Chicago Bears, I'm originally from Chicago, and the Bears are getting their butts kicked right now. Ugh. It makes my heart hurt. Okay. Reset view. Let's hide this. Okay. There's a few things that are, hang on, one more, what is that, okay. I kind of like the lines, I kind of like the lines. I think we need to go with the lines.
I'm here. I'm in uh, Northern California, and the the uh, temperature has dropped, and it's been raining all day. So I have my my winter uniform on. <sighs> all right. Let's see. Maybe if we. Let's clean this up just a little bit. Maybe maybe we can convince ourselves that this is the way to go. Okay, I'm not mad at that. This may be one of those where this may be one of those where we get it close, but then we just kind of wait. Wait to see what Jack has to say about it. if we added another one here no can't really do that because if we did that then we have to add that go there you know and all of a sudden it's the opposite of what we we're trying to do actually that's not bad I need to I need to that's not terrible that's not terrible okay let's keep it like that then Size that guy. Zoom out a little bit. Maybe even bigger than that. He's kind of a big, huge, big, huge monster. Okay, that's good for me. Okay, we can. 
and get rid of that layer. We're kind of done with this layer too, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock it and throw that away. And I think we are good there. I'm going to go back a few pages because we have this angle in a previous drawing. There it is. So I'm just going to uh, lasso. Actually, now that we see that, you see the difference? <laughs> hmm. The monster is really big and the uh, jungle gym here, the jungle gym in the new The jungle gym here is about the same size as here, but the monster is very different and the kid and the robot are very different too. Very different sizes. So, this is an illustration book. This is, I mean, it's our world so we can basically do whatever we want. So I think what I'm gonna do Cut paste. Oops, did the wrong thing. I need more upbeat music. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think uh, I don't think love songs are gonna do it right now. So let's go to discover. Beats, electronica, hip hop, small emotions, pop. Let's go to pop. I haven't listened to pop. I didn't think at all. Okay. Let's see what that gives us. That's a little more upbeat. A little less heart throbby. There it is. Uh, oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to make. We're gonna make the cage just a little smaller. think maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm going to leave it just like that because we can do what we want. How about them apples? How about them apples? We can do what we want. figure out let's go back here
go. And he should be holding on to that bar. Still trying to convince myself of this monster being up there. So let's do this. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to make a copy of that. But I'm going to make him go away for now. This is where our artistic exploration begins. Because these guys here are pretty good. I like them. But let's go up to that new layer. And if this is our guy, cancel. What would he look like? bent over and he's kind of chunky too so so what would happen if he was actually maybe the pose was wrong I think that's probably what it is the pose was wrong he's got these big old arms So if he's reaching down like this, maybe maybe he's just really big and then we can I think that's what it was. I think the pose was just a little off. And this is just a little bit a little bit clearer of a of a pose. up here that means his ear would be down here and he's very concerned So this arm
let's go back here. Yeah, so his face and his body and just everything is all kind of all just one big round thing, right? So I'm just cleaning things up. I'm trying to convince myself that this is good. Um, create a new layer I'm gonna to try to create a not try but I'm gonna make a horizontal horizon line and eventually we're gonna have something down here but right now I'm just trying to figure out I think we uh I think we got it. I think this is the way to go. So do I go and grab no not that. I could grab the trees from this layer. Nah, let's not. Let's just go ahead and keep moving with what we had going. Don't think we need that one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. This is... Okay, that's fine. I'm going to hit plus. I like to have things when I'm first adding things to an illustration. I like creating it on a different layer first just because I don't want to have to erase it and if it ends up being a terrible idea all I have to do is grab that layer and throw it away so Okay, 
So now what I'm gonna do is just add some grass. And then slowly but surely we'll take a look and see if this is exactly what we want. And again, that's why we add it on a new layer because then if we hate it, no harm, no foul, we just delete it and we are, we've only, we'll call it, we didn't waste time, we'll call it our experiment didn't, didn't turn out the way we want it. That's what we'll say. We did an experiment and it didn't come out exactly how we wanted and no harm, no foul. We're still good. Let me see something. I'm going to go back to I want to go back to that that uh, that page because um, If, if I show the, the, um, yeah, this is what we want. Okay. We didn't, we didn't show the backside of the monkey bars or of the, of the jungle gym. So what I'm going to do is just leave it be, I'm, I'm not going to add them to this drawing either just for consistency's sake. Twenty-four to ten, Green Bay is just whipping up on the Bears. Ugh. Just ugh. <laughs> now what's funny is uh, some folks that take these sports way too seriously. Um, when I was back home, especially people from Green Bay, not they're passionate about their team. I can't hate them for for loving their team as much as they do. But when people have to tell you not to wear sports jerseys to say a wedding <laughs> that's not dressed up, and uh, there's people that are like, no, that's that's dressed up. Um, that's how serious we take sports back home. Okay. Let's uh, hide this, take a look. It's pretty good. You know what we have to do? Let's go in here. We don't need this anymore. Turn the smoothing down. And again, if you have never used smoothing on a Photoshop brush, one second, I'm about to cough. Okay. Um, if you've never used smoothing on a Photoshop brush, really, it's just um, what that does is it adds like a little rope to the end of your brush. So if I click and drag, you see that pink line there? I can draw as fast as I want, and this is just basically smoothing out the um, the brush stroke that we're putting down. So I use that anytime I have like a big arc. I probably could have used it here with the uh, with the jungle gym. I didn't, but I could have. Um, okay, we're good there. Let's turn the smoothing back off. Back off. Sometimes my mouth doesn't work right. I'm trying to, I should remember what page we were on. 
the one that I keep using as reference. There's a page eight and a page eight copy. What is that all about? Lord Sarbrook, nice. Are these your own brushes? No, actually, these are um, the animator pencil is one of my favorite ones, but um, the animator pencil is from Kyle Webster, and I believe it's in the Mega Pack or whatever. But I got that from um, real fast. What you can do if you want more brushes for free and you have Photoshop in your brushes panel, and if it's not open, you can go to Window, then drop down to Brushes. Uh, and I just made it go away. So good job, kid. There we go. So when your brushes panel is open, you come over here to this hamburger menu and you click and drop down to get more brushes. And that'll open up a... That'll open up this, this page here. You have to be logged in to adobe.com. Um, and here you can download all these brushes. So summer brushes for uh, 2022 uh, bit of everything excellent grainy airbrush two totally unique inkers new watercolors pixelated blend I'm gonna grab that I don't even have that yet so I'm gonna grab that and then if I we see here we get this ABR file so I'm just gonna go ahead and open with It should have Photoshop. So I'm going to click other. And then go into Adobe Photoshop. Medium color Photoshop. Photoshop, click open. And then somewhere in here, we just added those brushes. Chances are they're going to be summer 2022. There you go. So there's oil brushes, a leaf dotter, chipped paint. What's that look like? Oh, okay. That would work, not for what we're doing right now, but I could see where that could be useful. Um, and I have all these other things on, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. And here. Let's do this. Uh, I created two new layers. I'm going to do like that. So then we can come up here and we can start messing around. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I can see. Yep. I can see that. This would be really cool. Like, uh, think about if you have... If I had... Here, we can... These guys... Nah, that's going to take too long. What I was going to say is, brush, yeah. oh, what is this? <coughs> let's say that we had, you know, a finished character, and maybe he's a little hood, right? Maybe he has like a spray can or something like that. You can come and get this chip paint and just throw that in there as a background. I would make it probably, let's go to our swatches, cancel that. <coughs> <laughs> yeah um take a look the the one that i use is called animator pencil and i do i'm almost positive it's part of the mega pack but now that we're talking about it i want to make sure that i'm giving you the right information so let's do this um kyle webster Photo. Ah. Shop brush. Anime tour pencil. Download exclusive Kyle Webster. It's gonna send us to the same exact place where we were, where we just were. But yeah, that's the name of the pencil that I that I use. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love this pencil. Looking for a nice gritty texture. Here, let's see. 
Because if I can find the link for it, I'll I'll share it with you right now in the in the uh, in the chat. Looking for a nice gritty texture for your line art, shading, and Photoshop. Select Animator Pencil from the Mega Pack. There you go, Mega Pack. So now let's go back to where we were before and see if we have Mega Pack right there, the very first one. So if we download that, it has to be in there because well, that's what they said. So. Yeah, over 300 brushes. And then if you have Photoshop, this is incredible because it's just, it's free. So, you know, I, I've bought brushes from other artists and stuff. And that usually when I do that, it's just to support other artists, right? Um, but for the most part, I don't need any brushes for Photoshop. I'll definitely, I definitely go out and I buy brushes for Procreate. But yeah, um, when it comes to Photoshop, everything that you need is right there. So um, yeah, and if they don't have it, you probably don't need it, let's be honest. So yeah, anyway, there you go. Oh, and what I was gonna do here is I was gonna do like bring orange, you know, and then drop it. Okay, that was helpful. There we go. You see, like that might be that might be really cool, if if that drawing actually made any kind of sense. They have leaves. That's all right, I guess. More chip paint. These would be cool, these watercolor ones. Oh, are you serious? <sighs> okay. <laughs> you see, L Lord Sarbrook, it gets, it gets to be a slippery slope. This is why sometimes when I'm doing these live streams, sometimes it takes me two and a half hours to get done. Look at that. Oh. Kyle Webster. I met Kyle Webster, by the way. Um, cool dude. I used to run a, I used to have a, uh, a podcast and Kyle Webster was on there and we talked for a couple hours and we talked about him making brushes and stuff like that. Cool dude. I like him a lot. This was even before he got the job offer at Adobe. He's been Adobe. He's been at Adobe for a little while now. Okay. Um, we're going to have to have to do something with these watercolor brushes because this is insane. This is really cool. This is almost Lord Sarbrook. Have you ever played with, um, Adobe Fresco? That program is, I mean, it's just not even fair. That program is crazy. Noise. Exactly. Right. Yeah, this is why. Oh, that's a smudge brush. That's why. That's why I can't. Like, if you go in here and smudge with that. All right, cool. All right, I get you. I get you. Underpainting? Not really sure. Okay. Ink soak. Okay, I can see where that can come in handy. You can come in and add some more stuff to it. Nice little subtle brush. I like that. Digital paint, what is that? Well, that one's all right. And there's other ones too, like I believe it's in the Mega Pack too. They have, um, there's this one that Kyle created that you can have like two different, um, two different colors put down, and then you brush over it, and it picks up the color from both of those brushes. It, they're doing good. They're doing good. You'll hear me. You'll hear me bitching and complaining from time to time about things not not working properly all the time, but for the most part. Adobe is really bringing the heat with all this stuff. That's a cool brush too. So no, let me see. Every once in a while, 
No, that's not going to mix it. Yeah, I actually, if you look through my, um, if you look through my, uh, my watch later on YouTube, um, I have probably about 10 Adobe Fresco tutorials that, uh, or uh, tutorial videos that I'm going to be, um, once I get done with this book, I'll have enough time to actually go through and, uh, and actually learn a little better, but I've played with it. Like the watercolors are cool because they blend together and then you can hit the little fan to dry the, the water. You can add more water, you can take away water, have more pigment on there. It's, they did a really good job with Fresco. All right, let's get rid of these. Oh, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> um, oh, and, and Lord uh, Sarbrook, if, I think it's in the Mega Pack, but if it's not, what I can do is export this brush and I can send it to you if you want. But it'd be easier just to grab the Mega Pack and look through there. Okay. Um, this is what I was going to do. I was going to go back to... Okay, yeah. So you see how there's two layers. This is very distracting. There's two layers of trees. So I want to say somewhat consistent. So I'm going to go back here. And uh, first things first. I need to grab all of these layers. Drag that down to the folder. Page 30. So now when I go to look around, I can just turn that whole thing off and then turn it all right back on. Okay. Let's turn this opacity all the way back up and get rid of all the artwork that's on there. Hit deselect. Now I'm going to grab my brush tool, make sure that my animator pencil is selected. And again, turn smoothing up. And now I'm just gonna add some more trees in the back. Oh, that's green. What kind of uh, what kind of artwork do you do, Sarbrook? And these parts here aren't even going to be in there. I'm going to delete those, but I just have to I have to pretend like there's no other trees there. So I'm going to grab the lasso tool and drag a circle around the parts that we don't need. Hit delete. Deselect. Okay. I'm pretty good with that. No, I'm going to deal with him later. What I wanted to do is go in there and clean those lines up off his face, but we're not going to do that yet. What I want to do is create a new layer. I think we're pretty good. Well, I have to clean up the jungle gym a little bit. Okay, well, whatever. Let's do that. Silly Bill by the devil 
wand and select those areas. Fill that in. Stop. Uh, where are we at? There we go. Let's bring that opacity down. And let's grab new layer. Grab this. I'm going to hit option. No, nope. let's grab the lasso tool now. Option to take away some of our selection. Photoshop just disappeared on me. Well, it did disappear on me, but I thought it crashed. There we go. I attempted urban sketches back in 2018, so basically watercolor. Then I watched 1000. Ooh, I love 1000. And tried acrylic. Now I'm on Procreate and haha, -ha, buying all sorts of brushes. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Um, I have got, um, there's a few brush packs that I got. One of them is BJ Dell. If you've watched him on YouTube, uh, BJ Dell has some, I want to say they're kids books brushes. So I picked those up, um, and I got some comic brushes. I made a video about those comic brushes cause I was very impressed. Let me see if I can find that link. Um, here we'll do this and then we'll go to your channel videos, uh, comic brushes. Here we go. Uh, Max Ulicheni, Ulicheni, whatever, however you say his name. Um, and I'll drop, I'll drop the link to this in in the chat. Um, those brushes there are are magnificent and. He didn't even tell me to make that that uh, that video. Dude is just that good. Um, so yeah, take a look at those and let me know what you think. Um, it's it's uh, I like them. I like them a lot. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's cool. That means great minds think alike. Now let's bring this down some. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna create another layer. And this time I'm gonna grab the marquee tool and and then let's drag this down. Let's grab the eraser. Um, your YouTube thumbnails made me think of the regular show and Ben 10. Is that a good thing? I've been trying to figure out uh, if my thumbnails um, are too basic or if they're working fine. So if, if you actually, um, if the thumbnails actually made you want to click on the video, number one, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for clicking on, on the video. Um, and thank you for coming back. Cause I know that you were here for when I was doing page 29. Um, yeah, let me know. Cause I'm trying to figure out. 
uh, if I'm doing everything right, basically, is what I'm trying to figure out. Um, let's do brush, fill this in. Oh, let's turn this moving off. Dig it. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, um, I'm just trying to make sure that, that we're on the right path. And, um, yeah, this project has a ton of videos and, um, I just thought that it would be helpful if for nothing else, just to sit around and keep you company while you draw, you keep me company while I draw. I just, I guess I talk a lot and <laughs> I talk a lot. And so if I'm working by myself all the time, um, you know, I, uh, I get motivated by talking to people and sharing ideas and talking about brushes and music and all that good stuff. So I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you dig it. Um, yeah, and like I've been saying on all the on the uh, intros to all of these videos, um, I wanna I wanna have where you know it's a place where we can all just come and share things. It, almost like um, like I went to art school for animation and some of my some of my still very good friends i met at art school and it was because all of us were sharing uh techniques and and talking about how, where to get brushes and stuff like that um so that's kind of like that's the feeling that i want to get i want to i want to i want to have like all of us maybe in the in the same lab in the same computer lab learning from each other you know um i guess that is a very strange way to say i miss my friends <laughs> okay let's collapse this on there so let's go brush nope let's not do that those have to be there it is okay they're actually white strokes That's about ready. Those are lines. I'm gonna start collapsing some of these layers that are all lines. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can collapse one more time. Now I'm gonna name that line work. And then hit save. <coughs> stuff here oh, yeah, thanks um, and I'll start sharing stories and stuff as we go along um, I was in the multimedia uh, my career was in multimedia so building websites and and uh presentations and uh, like writing software designing software using my animation skills and and programming skills to to work on a lot of really cool projects <clears throat> and because of that i have a lot of really cool friends and now that 
I'm, uh, I'm actually pursuing my passions. Like uh, as a kid, I always wanted to be an animator. And uh, I was never convinced that I was going to be just because, um, I don't know. For some reason, I just thought that that wasn't going to be attainable for me. But I never stopped. I never stopped trying to animate. I never stopped all the way drawing. Um, and then, you know, I was a Flash developer for a long time. And then when that turned into a bad word, uh, I decided to go for it. And now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm making films, I'm making animations, I'm doing all that good stuff. And I think that, uh, that sharing is caring. <laughs> No, I think, uh, um, well, to be blunt, the art school that I went to uh, got busted by the government for uh, high pressure sales tactics and all that stuff. I, I went to one of those schools that, that got in trouble for um, basically being a farm system for artists. Um, And uh, that kind of, uh, not for anything, but it kind of pissed me off. So I'm going to take everything that I know and put it on YouTube. Uh, and then that way, when I get older and I first start forgetting things, I'll just go to my own channel and watch my own stuff. <laughs> uh, that might be a little morbid, but uh, whatever. Okay. Okay. There we go. We got that done. I'm not going to worry about, I just convinced myself, I'm not going to worry about the, the bars right now because uh, there's still going to be another layer of art on top of this. Um, there's going to be a more finalized version where we're actually adding color and stuff like that. So, um, But that's for after Jack and I um, have our conversations about the... Um, after we have our conversations about how we're going to actually like, um, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, not just where the words go, but also kind of like what style we want to color this in. Do we want to use some of these watercolor brushes that we just saw? Do we want to use oil paints? Do we want to, you know, stuff like that. So, um, and Jack is a really, really good person to speak to talk to about that stuff because one he's incredibly talented and uh two he has a few books that he's created um and um yeah he's really good at this art stuff he's a uh, he's the um uh, He's one of the animation directors over at Netflix right now. So he's traveling for work right now, but when he gets back, I'm trying to have all of the pages done uh, for next week when he comes back next week. So we'll be able to, to, we'll be able to have a conversation about um, the approach that we're gonna have for this project. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll do way more live streaming. <laughs> and uh, sometimes these these live streams go a little long. Like right now, we're at an hour and fifteen minutes. But what I'm doing is I'll take I'll uh, I'll get the videos after it's done processing on YouTube's back end, and then I make um, time lapses. So that way, you know, instead of having to sit through an hour or two of me babbling and listening to music, you can watch it in like, you can watch the entire thing in like five, six, seven minutes, right? And then that way, if there's anything in there that interests you, there's going to be a link to the original video. So then you can watch the longer version. So basically, if you think about it, I'm making little commercials 
for the longer version of what we're doing here. All right, so, <clears throat> and I say this all the time, this blue look, it's more basically how I do storyboards for when I'm making my films. Um, so this, this step would probably not even exist if I was doing this uh, by myself. I would, I would, after my sketches and, and I clean up the sketches, I would go right into, you know, creating the line work and creating the colors and stuff like that. So, um, hang on. So, uh, uh, yeah, but this extra step is just basically because I'm working with someone to make this book. And, um, and once we get everything hammered down and finalized and everything then um, then we'll we'll go to the next step um, okay we need to that is not doing anything at all why Oh, that's because it's on the eraser, not brush. That's why. And I hate doing that because now... There we go. And now we get that guy. Here, what I'm gonna do is grab the animator pencil, and he's got like this uh, this patch on his shirt. That should probably be on the correct layer. Line work. There we go. Back to brush. Back to this brush. There we go. So now let's just, for kicks, let's add some of his spots. Okay. I think we can call this one done. Let's call this tone. Looks like we got page 30 complete. So, you know how we do. I'm gonna make my face disappear. And then I'm gonna come over to Photoshop and hit F twice and then zoom in just a little bit so you get a very good look at what we just did easy easy you know what we could do to hit f one more time come and get the animator pencil i'm going to go ahead and add some grass Yeah, 10 hundred. Um, he's, he's so cool. 
Um, I really like everything that he's got going on. Um, and the fact that he's like now making toys. Oh, let's go back here. Uh, 10 hundred. And what was it? He just did something too. Was it the toys? He just did some big thing. Um, I started, I started watching him earlier on in this year when I finally found him and he was doing like a collaboration where he did part of a, part of a larger painting and then he mailed it to someone else that added to it and then they mailed it to someone else that added to it and then at the end he had this just wonderful painting that was made by like four or five different people and that painting went pretty much around the world um so yeah i'm a big fan of what he's doing the art collab piece yeah yeah exactly that was cool but lately what was it he's 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 making those little uh figures now which is so cool so so cool um i'm a big fan i'm a big fan of 10 hundred um we're both midwest guys too i forget where he's from like ohio or something um or no is he he's like michigan maybe indiana Maybe Michigan, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm originally from Chicago. So it's really cool to see, you know, uh, uh, Midwest folks out there killing the game. Okay, so now I'm going to right click and hit warp because now I'm going to bring this down like so. Maybe bringing that down. Yeah, let's bring that down because we want, we don't need this shadow to be too aggressive on the backside. Pause. Okay, hit enter, and I'm gonna bring this opacity down because that helps us sell the volume of, or even the circumference of the bottom of the jungle gym. Hit E for erase. And I think we're pretty good. That's that's uh that's all right. Now we have to come in here and erase a little more. Ugh. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. We're not trying to. We're not racing. I think we have what time is it? Eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, I think we have enough time. We might be able to finish this entire book. Uh, Sarbrook, Lord Sarbrook, um, if you're down, I am down for doing, let's do filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to finish this, this page up and then, um, go feed the dogs and then I'll come back and do another page. See if we can't finish this bad boy today. Uh, e. Cool. Okay. There. Now for real. <laughs> Hit F twice. Zoom in just a little bit. Make my face go away. There. Page 20. Nope. Sorry. Page 30. <laughs> I'm glad you got that one. Um... Page 30 is in the books. That's what it looks like. And hang on, let me go move my mouse over here. There we go. So there, we just finished page 30. Ah, 
Good times. Thank you, Lord Sarbrook, for hanging out. If you're going to be here in just a little bit, I'm going to take probably about 15, 20-minute break to feed the dogs, get some more pop, uh, check to make sure that nothing is burning around the house, uh, and then I'm going to come back and take a look at um, what we're doing for page 31. Um, I'm trying real hard to um, to finish this these pages today. Um, so let's see if we go to the boards, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, we're on the last page. Yeah, we're on the last page. There we go. These are the last two that we need to do. 31 should be pretty simple. And 32 is just like, you know, now they're buddies again. So uh, oh, here, let me, let me show you guys. There you go. Uh, the bully stops being an ass because he's been picking on this robot this entire book for no reason. Um, so we're going to finish. We can probably knock both of these out. Um, but there. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Lord Sarbrook, for hanging out and keeping me company and uh, listening to me just talk incessantly. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if you can, come back, because if there's any other art people that you follow, I would love to talk to you about those. But for now, I'm going to go feed. I have two dogs, Ricky and Lucy. Mm -hmm. Cuties. Um, so I'm going to go feed them, and then I'll come back, and then we're going to finish up page 31, or we're going to start on page 31. Um, so yeah, so uh, if you're interested in doing illustration, movie making, animation, uh, even graphic design, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bam, check out that animation, son. Uh, check, uh, click that uh, subscribe button and the little bell right next to the subscribe button. If you click that every time I come out with content or if I come out uh, live like this, you'll be alerted and then you can come and hang out and you see um, Lord Sarbrook again. Um, you know, we keep each other company. There's a lot of times there's now that we're later on in the day, Lord Sarbrook, what you're going to see is there's going to be some people from like India. And yesterday we had someone from Morocco on and we all just kind of hang out and draw together. Um, we keep each other company and, and you know, this is exactly what I want this part of what I want this channel to be. There's going to be more like more uh, produced stuff like artist al fresco. Those are my travel videos. Uh, that's the other thing that I love doing is traveling. So um, I put together travel videos that have art related stuff in there. Um, I have a ton of tutorials, everything from graphic design stuff, Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, on into video editing and animation and using things like Calipeg on the iPad. Um, a ton of tutorials. I have vlogs that I do. Um, so it all seems like it's a lot, but it's it's all related. It's all building up to um, me. And I come to this conclusion here just the other day. This channel is basically me chasing my childhood dream of being an animator and having an animation studio. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm building towards that. And so if you want to be a part of it, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to come hang out, Lord Sarbrook is going to come hang out a little bit later. Uh, yeah, just come hang out and we'll listen to music and we'll draw together. Um, yeah, so tell your friends. And with that, I hope this video finds you healthy and I hope this video finds you safe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.